This episode was made possible in part by the Van Ekren family, founders of Lando Frost, and the Hamill Family Foundation. That's me, Fred the House Cat. When my family leaves for the day, I don't just sit inside watching the world go by. I become... Major Cat! Backyard Explorer Extraordinaire! Dirt too, baby. Hey, big dog. It's a game. We're pretending the ground is lava. Oh, right. Pretend. Come on. And don't touch the ground. <laughs> you mean lava? <laughs> wink, wink. <laughs> it's only a game. You can do this. Whoa. <laughs> no. Major Cut, no. Swallowed by the molten rock. Fossilized forevermore! Good game, man. Uh, you can come down, Hal. The lava game's over. Can we play again? Huh, honestly, I'm a little burned out. But playing the ground is lava reminded me of something I'm curious about. I just need to find it on my nature curiosity list. Here it is, item number 879. What is it like to be on a volcano? A volcano? That's right! I've always dreamed of seeing a volcano up close and personal. Oh, oh, me, me, me. I want to see real lava. I want to see if it's always flowing, you know what I'm saying? I hear you, Hal. And I'd love to find some volcanic rocks that are made from cooled lava to add to my rock collection. Yeah, and I'd be curious to find out if plants and animals live near volcanoes. Well, gang, it's settled. Today, we're going to a volcano! Oh, woo -hoo! But Nature Cat, there's just one small, teeny, tiny little problem. There isn't a volcano around here. Yeah, we spend a lot of time in these woods. I've never seen one. Well, maybe volcanoes are just shy. Volcano! Oh, volcano, where are you? I think we would know if one of these were around here. Here, check it out. Yeah, th I don't think there's one around here. There sure is. Who said that? Hey, guys. Hey, look, it's Steve the Vol. You've seen a real volcano, Steve? Seen one? I live in one. You what? You do? Your floor is really lava? Not anymore, but it's the dream home for an amateur volcanologist. A volcanologist? What did you say? A volcanologist is someone who studies volcanoes. Says so right here on the old Steve's badge. Ooh, Steve. I like your badge. Yeah, how do I get my paws on that? Whoa, 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 whoa. Easy, Squeaks. First, you gotta learn more about volcanoes. We all wanna learn more. Can you take us to the volcano? Please, 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 please. Oh, of course. Follow me. Volcano Tally Ho! I am just so curious to see what it's like to be on a real volcano. And see if the lava ever stops flowing. Don't forget the rocks. All those glorious volcanic rocks. Oh, and what plants and animals live by a volcano. Okay, okay, you don't have to be curious much longer. We're almost there. Oh, Steve, I just want to learn everything about volcanoes. Well, let me teach you with a song. Music! A volcano, a volcano. There are times when the Earth's crust will shift and start an event. Big pieces of land 
to crack and open a vent. That crack could keep on cracking till it stops way deep, deep down. When it hits a layer of magma, not much else is around. Deep in the earth, the pressure builds up, causing a crash. Spewing up from below comes red hot magma and ash. A volcano. A volcano. A volcano. A volcano. Over time, this volcano changed, helped form a new landscape. After many years and years, valleys and Shape. All around these old volcanoes came rivers, animals, and life. The fire of the volcano was gone, but its heart burns up so bright. A volcano, a volcano, a volcano, a volcano. Ta da! Get a great view of the volcano from Vol Hill. But Nature Cat, Vol Hill is the volcano. What? There! Uh, I don't see it. You're standing on it. But, um, Steve, how do I put this gently? This isn't a volcano. It's a hill. No, it's not. Vol Hill was once an active volcano a long, long, long time ago. Ah, uh, so lava flowed down this hill right on this very spot where we're standing. Uh, how do you know it's not going to erupt again? Like, like any second, like while we're like standing in it. This is an extinct volcano. It's so old, it's not expected to ever erupt again. So it's safe, Steve? Safe to stand and live on, Nature Cat. But Vulcanologist Steve the Vol, how do you know this was a volcano? Let me show you. Okay, so um, these basalt columns are a sign. They were formed when the lava from this volcano cooled. They're so old, this is all that's left of them. Whoa, that must have been a long, long, long time ago, Steve. Mm-hmm. It sure was, Squeaks. So the lava isn't always flowing. Not on an extinct volcano like this. Uh, Squeaks, you wanted to see volcanic rocks? Oh, did I say that? Um, yeah, I wouldn't mind. Well, ta-da! These basalt columns are volcanic rocks. Woo! Oh, and Daisy. Uh, yeah? All sorts of plants and animals live around volcanoes. Pretty, pretty cool, right? Yeah! yeah! This is great, Steve. Really, a lovely home. And it was great to learn about an extinct volcano. But I was curious about... Let me guess, an active volcano. Yeah, it's great to see what happened once the lava stopped flowing. Or after the volcanic rocks cooled. And what plants and animals live near volcanoes. But we want to see, you know, an active volcano. Up close and personal. Yeah, I figured as much, which is why I called it a little favorite, the Volcanologist Society. Aoga! Aoga! Houston, what are you doing here? I'm piloting a helicopter. Are you licensed? You're a gerbil. Sir, ma'am, sir, ma'am. Steve called and told me you wanted to see an active volcano. We're old buddies from the Amateur Volcanologist Society. We hang in the museum every Tuesday. I bring chocolate lava cake. Chocolate lava cake? <sighs> so I gassed up the Houston chopper and here I am. Hop aboard, please. Buckle up. Safety first. Who's ready to see a volcano? Yay! Prepare for liftoff. Next stop, Mount Zabini. And if you look up ahead, you'll see... Tally Ho! That's Mount Zabini. It's the most active volcano on the island. Pretty awesome, huh? Sometimes the volcano spews lava and ash into the air. Other times, like now, the lava flows more gently. Now this is a volcano! An active volcano. Pretty impressive, huh? Whoa! Let's take a closer look, shall we? Copy that. Preparing for landing. Whoa! Hey, Volcano, it's me, Hal! 
pretty impressive up close, isn't it? Come on, let's make our way to the observatory where we can get, as you say, up close and personal. But, um, like, safely up close and personal. Okay, so see this trail we're walking on now? This is the result of an eruption from many years ago. Affirmative, Steve. You are all walking on hardened lava. Yep, and now it's a path to the Volcano Observatory. Come on! <gasps> Flowing lava! Whoa! Yep, a fresh lava flow. It doesn't always happen, but oh, we got lucky today. Look, doesn't it look like the lava flow was frozen in time? Oh, and over here, check this out. See the little holes in the rock? The little holes are where gas escaped as the lava cooled. Oh, and... Obsidian rock, my favorite. Nifty eye, ma'am. That is a little piece of obsidian. <gasps> Look how shiny and smooth. Obsidian is lava that cools so quickly, it becomes volcanic glass. Don't worry, Squeaks. We can get you a rock at the souvenir shop. Oh, really? Wait till the rest of the rock stars see it. <sighs> More to see. Follow Steve. Look! I can't believe anything can live in a place like this. Oh, it's amazing how some plants and animals can make even the harshest environments their home. Copy that, Steve. Look! We're almost there! Oh! So, you all did it. Hal saw flowing lava, Squeak saw volcanic rocks, Daisy found out that some plants and animals can live around active volcanoes, and Nature Cat, you found out what it's like to be on an active volcano. We did it, gang! And that makes you all official members of the Amateur Volcanologist Club. Congratulations and welcome. Ah, nature truly is amazing. Hooray, Volcano! Yay! <laughs> Thanks, Volcano. I love you. Thank you for letting us visit you. No rest for the squeaky. Ha! Ah, sweet night. Time to shuffle off to dreamland. Can't wait to curl up next to my flower bed. Good night, Daisy. Nighty night, Nature Cat. Stretchy, you go here. Squishy, you go here. And Mr. Chewinski, you go right next to me. <laughs> Good night, babies. Sleep well, Hal, my pal. Sweet dreams, Squeaks. Ah, uh, Squeaks. Why is there a skateboard where Squeaks should be? Skateboard time! Yahoo! <laughs> Yahooing! Squeaks is skateboarding. Skateboarding at this hour? Whoa! Squeaks, you need to go to sleep. I have decided that I'm not going to sleep anymore. What? what? I haven't slept in two days. There's just too much awesome stuff to do in the world, and I can't get it all done during the day, so I've decided to do it at night. <sighs> But you can't just skateboard all night. I know that. That's why it's karate time! Hey! Squeaks, you can't keep this up night after night. You're going to get tired. Yeah, right. Hi -ya! Karate mice don't get tired. Impressive. Animals need sleep, Squeaks. No way, man. I know for a fact that some animals don't sleep at all, okay? And I intend to be one of them. <laughs> yeah. Really? What animals? I will show you. But first, it's gymnastics time! Follow me! So where are all these animals that aren't sleeping? Look at that. That's a robin's nest, right? Right! right. So the robin should be sleeping in there, right? Yeah. Sure. Yes. <laughs> oh, well, check it out. <gasps> <laughs> See? No sleeping robins. But all animals need sleep. But do they really? I think so. I mean, when you're tired, you sleep, and when you wake up, you have more energy again. Okay, Daisy, but how do you explain the robins? Huh, that's a good question. Perhaps they like to go to sleep later. I bet they'll be back in their nests in a little bit to catch some Zs. Okay, well, I'm gonna prove to you guys that not all animals sleep. But first, it's yodeling time. Yodeling, 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 yodeling. 
It's hard because of the tongue. It's like, I'll get it. See, I can't sleep. I need to practice. Look, those ducks clearly never sleep. Mm, it looks like they're sleeping now. How well can they be sleeping? They're on a lake. Who sleeps on a lake? I think we just need to get a closer look. That is where I draw the line. As much as I would love an answer, I'm not jumping in any water. Well, you don't have to because it's canoe time! They're sleeping. Look, their eyes are closed. Oh, look closer. This duck has one eye that's closed and one eye that's open. Therefore, it can't be asleep. How is this possible? <laughs> water. Why did it have to be water? <sighs> See, I told you the ducks weren't asleep. Hey, we were too asleep. That is, until I saw that cat hovering over me. What? But how can you be asleep on a lake? The lake is a perfect place to sleep. It helps keep us safe from any animals that may want to eat us. There, that makes sense. But one of your eyes was open. How can you sleep with one eye open? Ah, good question. You see, we ducks can rest half our brains while the other half stays alert. So one eye is closed and resting, and the other is watching for danger, like lurking cats. Not again! Yeah. All right, well, now if you excuse me, it's time to get some shut eye and some open eye. Good night, good night ducks! ducks. So you see, Squeaks, all animals sleep. Well, not me, because then I'd miss hula hoop time. Hula hula, I'm a rock a hula baby. Hula hula, I'm a rock a hula baby. Oops. If you got some sleep, I'm sure you'd be able to be a rock a hula baby. Well, not all animals need sleep, pal. Remember the robins? Well, I bet those robins are sleeping back in their nests right now. There's only one way to find out. <laughs> aren't sleeping in their nest. How is this possible? I'm sure there's a logical explanation. I know when I don't get enough sleep, it makes me really <sighs> grumpy. But robins don't need sleep. In fact, I can show you another animal that never sleeps. Where? This way. Trombone time. <laughs> Whoa. Oh. Oh. Oh, I don't remember the trombone being that heavy. Maybe it feels heavy because you're so tired, Squeaks. Clearly that's not the case. I just need a lighter instrument. <laughs> now follow me! Behold, an animal that never sleeps! How do you know it never sleeps? Okay, every time I see this horse, right, it's always standing on its hooves. So, um, it never sleeps. Mm. His eyes are both closed. I think he's sleeping right now. But he's standing up, man. <laughs> There's no way he's sleeping. Look at this guy. He's wide awake. Excuse me, horse. Are you sleeping? <laughs> hey, whoa, whoa. Why'd you wake me up? I'm so sorry. I wasn't even sure you were sleeping. Yeah, you're standing up. Yeah, we horses doze a lot standing up. Very, very refreshing. You should try sometime. So wait, you never lie down? Oh, I'll lie down for some deep sleep, but not as often as dozing. And it's got to be in a safe place like my barn where no cats can sneak up on me and scare my horsey heart out. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me, back to my doze. Nighty-night. Now do you believe all animals need to sleep? Please, Nature Cat, I need to practice my kazoo. Hmm. Um, Squeaks, hate to break it to you, but you don't even have a kazoo. <gasps> no, my kazoo, it's gone. <gasps> Where are you, kazoo? Such a sweet and trusted friend. Kazoo, I will avenge you. Uh. Oh, I weep for you, sweet kazoo. Squeaks? <laughs> Hi, I think you're getting a little loopy. Loopy? <laughs> That's a nice name. Hey, what's up? I'm Loopy. Nice to meet you. Where do you want to go for dinner, Loopy? I don't know. How about Loopy's place? Oh, Loopy! <laughs> Squeaks? Who squeaks? I'm Loopy. Loopy?
Bumblebee. You need sleep. Uh, can't sleep. Uh, uh, time for my workout. Gotta build up the old muscles. Oh, yeah, baby. Check out these triceps. Sweet. Every animal needs to rest. Not the robins. Oh, I'm sure those robins are sleeping in their nests by now. Loopy needs proof. Let's go. Hey. I don't get it. The robins still aren't sleeping in their nest. That's because they are all animals. Need sleep, Daisy. Uh, I'm Nature Cat. I know. Okay, Daisy Cat, whatever you say. I'll show you another animal that never sleeps. Hurry! <laughs> Aren't we supposed to follow you somewhere? Right, right, yeah. Onward and loopward. Now looky here. At, at your eyes? Oh, wait, those are the things that I looky with. <laughs> Whoops, okay, looky there. <gasps> A butterfly! I wonder if she wants to frolic. I think she's asleep. No way, man. Butterbeans can't even close their eyes like we can, so they definitely don't sleep. It sure looks like it's asleep. Ah! Why are you so close to me? I'm so sorry. I was just trying to find out if you were asleep. Well, we don't sleep the same as you do, but we butterflies need our rest. And we like to rest someplace safe, like under a leaf, so no one will eat us. Why does a butter dish need to rest? I need rest for the same reasons you do. Rest gives me the energy to go about my butterfly business during the day, like finding food and laying eggs. Well, we want you to be able to find food, so we'll let you get back to your resting. Thank you. Nighty night. Okay, cookie baking time. Squeaks, you really need to sleep. No, no, I am like a robin. I don't need sleepy time at all, and my stomach is red. Keep it down out there, please. Who said that? Was that me? Robins, what are you guys doing here? We're trying to get some sleep. Well, why don't you sleep in your nest? We just use our nest to keep our baby robins warm and safe until they're big enough to take care of themselves. After that, we find the safest spot we can tuck into for sleep. Oh, wow. I didn't think you guys slept at all. Of course we do. All, all animals, animals sleep. sleep. Yeah, that's what everyone keeps telling me. Okay, my theory has been debunked. Whoops. Uh -huh. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse us, we really need to get back to sleep, please. Right, right. Sorry. Good night. Good night. Bye, Bye birds. Huh. I guess I learned a little something today. I never knew how important it was to get rest. So, Squeaks, now are you ready to get to sleep? Not yet. What? I just gotta do one more thing. Good night hug time! <sighs> Good night, Squeaks. <laughs> your PBS Kids friends on your local PBS station and the free PBS Kids video app. Also, subscribe to the PBS Kids Prime Video channel.